Hey there guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So today, I'm going to take a look at some new items. These have come to me from Four Adventurers. I'll put the link to their website below. You can buy all of this on there. So you can buy the Pack and Go Mild Chicken Korma. You can buy the Vanilla Cake separately. And the Honey comes in the uh, Sweet and Treat Pouch Special Pack. Coincidentally, you also get the Vanilla Cake in there as well. So Steve sent these to me to try out. I can't wait to crack them open. I think that honey is going to go really well with that nice plain vanilla cake. Alright, so let's get some hot water. Let's get a plate. And let's get dinner on. Alright, let's start off with our mild chicken korma then. So this is going to be a 600 calorie meal. It's from Pack and Go. And all we need to do is add 400ml of boiling water. Stir well and leave for 6-8 to eight minutes to rehydrate before eating. Caution hot food and water. So we've got pre-cooked rice, chicken breast, kibbled onion, korma spice mix, vegetable oil. And your usual things like chicken stock mold, curry powder, garlic powder, coconut, turmeric, even a little bit of cardamom in there. So you turn it over. Let's see, we've got a great best before, end of the year. We all know that these generally tend to last longer than that. We've got a fill level line on the side. So if you don't have the ability to measure out your water, you can use that. A good rule of thumb as well, though, is... Just putting enough water to just cover your food and that should be good. It says to tear open the top, pour in the water, give it a good stir, seal it up, wait the allotted time and then enjoy. So most freeze-dried foods, most wet meals as well, you've got a tear pack at the top. And you can just open it straight up. And you don't need anything to eat it in because it turns into a bowl which is brilliant when you're out on the trail because when you're walking about who wants washing up that smells really really nice all right as it happens i actually have 400 ml hot water a little titanium pot so i'll pour that in i love this little pot by boundless voyage it's really cheap as well the only thing that annoys me is it goes 200 ml 350ml, 500ml, 650 I'd have preferred it to have been hundreds. You can't have it all though, can you? Alright, so as this is a bowl bag, I think this may actually be too much water. So I may have a runny comb here, but that's okay. Rice does generally need that heat to rehydrate. There we go. Make sure everything's mixed in. Squeeze a bit of the air out so the heat stays down on the meal and that seals back up really really easily. Some freeze dried meals they don't actually seal up that easily when you do that. That's probably the easiest one I've had to seal up. Yeah. I'm going to use my large snack bowl that Jeff Trade sent me. open up our vanilla cake. I believe you find these in the German rations but Arifo also do the similar one that you find in the UK and also in some of the UN. There we go, we've got 85 grams of vanilla cake there, several different languages and on the back here we've got our ingredients as well. Down here it tells us per 100 grams it's 396 calories. So for a plain cake, that's quite a whopping amount. So we'll just open that up. And it smell, I can smell the vanilla. As soon as I open the pack, I can smell the vanilla. That actually smells really, really nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some honey on that. I think that honey on that cake, I mean, you could do it with jam. If you've got jam, you get jam in your ration pack as well. Jam would go really nice with some of this cake, so I'll just give it that extra lift for a drink. I'm going to have a US beverage base of Asbury from the 75th day of 2016. So it is uh, getting on. That's okay. It's great just having a little bit of powder because it's so much easier to fit in the bottle. Give that a good shake. have it a few more minutes and we've got dinner be back in a bit 
Okay then guys, so we've given it the allotted time. Let's open it up and see what we've got. There we go. Chicken corner. So yeah, it's a little bit runny. But that's okay. It looks good. It's not as runny as I was expecting, considering how it was. Too bad. Looks nice. Smells nice. Smells really good. There we go. You get a better picture there. That's hot. You might need to leave it a little bit longer than a lot of time if it's really cold where you are. I just moved them around to make it a bit easier. You've got some nice, nice chunks of chicken. As you can see, this it literally smells properly like corner. You can see the rice is there, it's distinguishable, it's not tiny pieces like you get in some. But I mean there straight away you can see we've got two decent sized chunks of chicken and they are properly rehydrated. They're not hard at all, they're nice. So that's really good. That is proper tasty. This is perfect food for if you're out on a cold trail, you've been walking all day. You want something very tasty to fill you up. This, this is really, really nice. This is a top-notch freeze-dried meal, this is. Now, a raspberry drink may be from 2016, but it's still good. Right, so we're going to come back to this. Do you know what? I'm even going to go as far as saying it's not better than some of the blah blah meals I've had, but it's better than the tactical food pack meals I've had. I like that. Now that's by Be Well Expedition Foods. They've hit the nail on the head with that. I am very impressed. Uh, a vanilla cake. Stuck to the wrapper as you'd expect. Anything like the chocolate cake. It's going to be dense and moist. That is really nice. That's nicer than chocolate cake in my opinion. Right, let's try it with some honey. Right, uh, honey, I can feel it. It's it's all all throughout the pack. It is crystallised, but that doesn't matter. It does happen. Like I said before, you can warm them up, and apparently that removes the crystals. Let's try some of this honey on this cake. One, when you're out and about and you're trekking and you you're on the move, it's going to give you those extra calories. It's going to give you the extra energy that you need. Two, it's just going to lift it up to that X level, isn't it? It's just going to take it a little bit further. So there you can see we've got a nice blob of honey on top of our cake. That is really good. The cake on its own is amazing. You put the honey on it and it just lifts it to that extra level. If I was out backpacking or walking, I mean we went for a walk today as a family. We did nearly four miles. Poor Sam, a little legs. If we'd have been out for dinner as well at the same time, screw the sandwiches. This is what you want. This is going to be a cracking meal out on the on the trek. I mean, you, you imagine you double that. You do yourself a nice eight to ten mile walk. You need something inside here. I mean, how much protein are you going to get back from this? Let's have a look. So this is 156 grams. It's given us 600 calories. It's given us 22% of our recommended daily allowance of sugar, which isn't best. But we've got 25 grams of protein and 1.2 grams of salt in there. So you've got a nice protein kick. And you're getting your salt back as well from sweating. Finish it off with a nice little vanilla cake with some honey smothered on top. Jobs are good and banging. What more can you want? It's amazing. I'm well impressed. This is just really nice. This is a, this is another level for a freeze-dried meal. This is very tasty. Mmm. I was cracking. I need to go finish up while it's still hot. Well, right, guys, thanks for watching. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've really enjoyed this one. Thank you for sending me this one for adventures. Really appreciate it. Might have to get some more of these in the future. Thank you. So then that about wraps this up. So I'm going to go and finish my meal. While it's still warm. And I'm going to eat my cake with the honey on. Well, most of it anyway. The wife's eyeing that one up. Let's please like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell button. You'll know when I put out a new video. But most importantly guys, stay safe and I'll be back with you soon for more eats, treats and MREs.